So I have had an incredible day today. It's like a wondrously vivid artist's palette. It's time to get me leg over. Wouldn't be the first time. I think that looks like kind of like a path. And um, this looks a bit more promising. Doesn't the fortress kind of look like a scorpion? Sitting on its perch, its pedestal. Times like this, places like this that you think maybe it might be worth it. Hi everyone and welcome to part number 14 of my 2022 Serbia series coming to you from what has been my home base for the last three months one of my favorite cities in Serbia Ujice let me get my breath back and today I'm at one of my favorite if not my absolute favorite location in Serbia Stadigrad, the old town the fortress in Ujice overlooking the city like a monolithic beast let's get going So I'm at the very top of the fortress. There's Ujitse in the distance. You can't get in this bit, but never mind. And if you're new, I did film a couple of big videos here last year covering things like the fortress, like the dam, Kadinyacha. Where else? We had Complet Lepinja. We went to all sorts of places. You can check them out in the Serbia playlist. And even though Ujitse is, of course, a past epic legacy character location, i.e. one I have found very special in the past, of course, I'm not just going to repeat myself. We are doing something very different today. There's a cross up there somewhere with a viewpoint and a telescope thing. It may look relatively close to where I am now, but it's not. So today, our task is very simple, to get up there. Now, you may have noticed that I'm holding this leaf. Why? Here's why. Autumn has arrived. It's mid-October in Ujitse right now. And just look at these colours. Reds, burnt oranges, greens, yellows, all sorts. It's like a wondrously vivid artist's palette. I think I'm in love with this leaf for some reason. It's an amazing colour. If there's one indicator of autumn, it's not a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. It's a leaf like this. It brings back fuzzy and warm memories, doesn't it? From walking home from school in the autumn with leaves falling all around you. Unless you grew up in a desert, of course. Lovely. Okay, Stadigrad has had its cameo appearance for this video, at least from this location anyway. But before we go, I just want to show you some comparison shots. So these drone shots were filmed in late July, so height of summer, you know. And as you can see, the landscape is completely different. It's yellow, it's barren, it's of course that mid-summer heat, you know. And now, just look at it. Look at the difference. It's incredible, isn't it? You know, this is one of my favorite places on earth I've got to say it's somewhere you can come to think and reflect if you're having one of those days you know and just remind yourself of the stunning beauty around you this is bloody amazing I'm really gonna miss this place right enough bollocks let's get walking from down here at least it's always felt like this grand and dominant presence even in the drone shots like it's the gateway to the city you know We've got to go up there. <laughs> Look at those colours. We are going to walk down this hill, go to the centre of town, because we need to go that way, and head up in the direction we want to go to. We're going to see what we come across. The icon, that is Ujite, with Hotel Zatibor in the middle there. You might have sensed I might be showing some emotion in this video. That doesn't normally happen. <laughs> So I'm actually leaving Serbia in a few days because my 90 days are almost up. How will I live without Zastavas on every corner? It's funny, I walk past here all the time, like every day, but I don't see these old signs. So I must remember to actually open my eyes when I'm in a place for a long time because it's easy for it to become just background noise, you know? There's Partizan Square. Of course, we have the icon, not DM, uh, <laughs> Charles Latibor. You don't need me to talk about that. I've talked about that a million times before, but I do have a little update. 
So last week when I was drunk, um, I did email them and asked them if I could have a look around inside, like, you know, some of the old rooms. I think some of them are being converted into um, apartments now and the lower floors, I think they are functioning, function rooms, if you know what I mean. But unfortunately, no response. Um, best regards. My first waypoint of the day is behind the bus station um, and to my left is Shulyaga, the iconic, famous place in Ujitse for Complete Lepinia. That bus station, I swear, if there's one place in the world I could send to an alternate hell dimension, it would be that bus station. Although, to be honest, it has been the origin point of all my videos for this year. Gaga Tours. Slatter board. I've got that bus on multiple occasions. Near the bus station is this building, which I've always loved. I think it's the fire station, I could be wrong. There are some firemen down there staring at me, sorry. But look over here. These are the views we'll be seeing more of throughout this video. We've got to go that way. I'm at waypoint one. I don't know how many there are. Behind the bus station, also behind the train station. I've got to say, I do love the trains in Serbia. That might cause chaos because I know people have differing opinions on it. But at least in this area, these trains are fantastic. I've got this train multiple times filming other videos. And I've got to say, in comparison to the bus system, which honestly, it needs some work. I'm sorry, Serbia, but it does. If there was some investment in the bus system, as there has been in the train system, we've got the high speed one between Novi Sad and Belgrade now. Um, I think travel in Serbia would elevate to the next level, honestly. Right, let's go up there. Get the sun peeking through there. I believe much of our journey is gonna look like this. This is a street called Zlatiborska. There's a wedding in the distance. I don't know if you can hear the car horns. That has been an ongoing storyline throughout this time in Serbia. Down here, we have a log angel. Makes a change from a monastery angel. And then, just look at this. Hotel Zlatiborg, with its pride of place in the centre of town. Right after a little break, we're at waypoint two. Someone's garden. I saw a shortcut on Google Maps. Time to get me leg over. Wouldn't be the first time. Anyway, I just met my Airbnb host down there, bizarrely, and also a family who recognised me from YouTube. Dobba Dan. Right, I don't know if you can see, but there are two pointy bits, as I'm calling them, on the map. I've got to go up there. I'm hoping that then I can go across like that rather than going all the way around the houses. Oh, there's a cat down there. Hello, Angel. Um, that bridge, that suspension bridge in off Chadabanya, collapsed apparently a few days ago and two people died. Scary, right? I was on that like less than two months ago. And I thought it was a bit ropey. Mats, mats, mats. I've never seen Ujitsi from up here. This almost feels like this is a brand new video location. Right, this is waypoint three. Pointy bit number two, to the right, it looked a little bit impenetrable. Is that a word? Um, but through here, it looks like it's a little bit more easy to get through. If there's one thing I can do, it's traipse through spider-infested forests. Ah, <sighs> really yen. I've got a feeling this wasn't a good idea because I'm tangled up with all these thorn thingies. <laughs> but I think that looks like kind of like a path. Yes, angels. Oh shit. Um, this looks a bit more promising <laughs> up that way. Uh, well done to whoever it was who put these thingies here because you just went top tier. Of course there would be little markers on trees. I've got to admit, this is quite difficult. I hope that it plateaus at some point. But let's face it, this is me you're talking about. So it ain't gonna happen. Oh look, there's another leaf. I am a leaf addict today. Is that a thing? I don't mean like a potted. Uh, it's like a maple leaf, isn't it? Just to put things in perspective, this is the angle of ascent in reality. It's like 45 degrees. Is that right? I was never good at maths. But 
we've got a little way to go, I think. Oh, not too bad. Come on, David, you can do it. Grab hold of rocks and trees. You'll get there in the end. I just taken a rest. And as I did that, two black squirrels came bounding down the hill. But they saw me and obviously they've quickly scurried away somewhere up a tree. It was like they were skiing. I have a feeling, which is probably wrong, that I'm almost there. But this part is somewhat more overgrown. It's even slightly challenging to identify the markers on the trees. The autumnal colours in Ujite are truly mesmerising. Insane. It's almost like a pastel pink, isn't it? Ah, oh, brilliant. I'm not climbing up there before you start. I think this is where on Google Maps it actually turns into an actual path. Ja, jack, ja, jack. Da, 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 da. I think we found <laughs> the path. Remember the cross from earlier? From a million miles away? Well, I can see it. Instead of a fake reaction, let's get my real one. I haven't looked to the left yet. Just like you. Ready? Oh my Christ. What in the name? of Novak Djokovic is this. I'm absolutely in awe. Look how high we are up. We are up. We are up above the fortress. That's where we were earlier. That's where the drone shots were from. And now look where we are. This is incredible. We've got this seating area. It's like an oval. And we have the telescope there, but firstly, I'm going to shut up and look at this. What about this? It's not like one of them ones in England you have to put 20p in. Hang on, hang on. Oh, look. Okay, that's shit. I'll look with my eyes instead. <laughs> in the distance, you can hear the brass instruments and the car horns. Another wedding taking place. You know earlier, I described the fortress from down there as grand, dominant and behemoth-like. I don't think I did actually. I think I just made that up now. Anyway, that's definitely the case from down there. But from up here, it's absolutely the complete polar opposite. Completely, utterly, totally. It's like small, insignificant, diminutive. And what I said about it being like the gateway to the city it doesn't feel like that from up here it feels like we're looking from space and actually it's something very small indeed i sound like david attenborough doesn't the fortress kind of look like a scorpion sitting on its perch its pedestal with its tail the only thing missing are the pincers ready to kind of leap onto the city maybe it's like protecting the city from invaders honestly i think i'd prefer to be michael palin he's a top tier legend like, I remember when I was a kid in the 80s watching Around the World in 80 Days. I've done that too, except it's about two and a half thousand now. Took me a bit longer. Um, but just look at it. These are the things which are the reason for living. I think sometimes we can all think that life can be a curse. That we've been lumbered with this torturous 80-year prison sentence existence. I've definitely thought that. But it's times like this, places like this, that you think maybe it might be worth it. I'm literally at the base of the cross. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, cross. Here we are. I am the king of Ujite. <laughs> Stunning. I feel like I've got vertigo. I'm a bit dizzy up here. Jesus. Ah, oh, the sun is hot and it's beaming down on me. If there's anything that this has shown, more than anything else, it's that if there are people out there saying that Serbia is shit, that Serbia has nothing to offer in terms of tourism, that Ujice is the ugliest city in Serbia, you're wrong. Obviously everyone's entitled to an opinion. My opinion is that I love it. It's one of my favourite places, not only in Serbia, but in the world. Because you've got this, you know. And I think over the course of this video and the two I did last year, it's shown that somewhere like Ujitsi can blow you away, you know?
I'm walking downhill. I chose this route again. Um, there's a fluffy angel in the distance. Mats, mats, mats. Doesn't respond to it this time. So I'm not particularly fit, but at the same time, I'm not exactly immobile either. I can quite happily do this sort of thing. But if you are in the second category, I just said, or well, maybe you just want an easier life. Oh, oh shit. I would suggest <laughs> choosing an easier route. Get a taxi up to where that little green bit started and then you can just walk from there, I believe. I think we're almost there. Praise be. Oh, so it appears I didn't see this entrance. Uh, this is the second hairpin, the pointy bit. Um, I went up there to the right slightly, but yeah, that one avoids the whole chaotic thorniness. Right, I think the railings behind me are the ones I climbed over earlier when I trespassed through someone's garden, but I can hear someone talking in there now, so I'm going to go the other way, all right? I've also been chased and attacked by Serbia's plethora of rabid and ravenous street dogs, as per usual, and I've also found cats in a wheelie bin. They're always in bins. And also, I found a nest of magpies, four of them. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, is it? I can't remember. I just remember the song by Steps. I'm not going to sing it. Right, I'm back at the legendary icon, Umart. Oh, there's a tourist information centre. It's news to me. So I thought it would be quite fitting to end the third part of this Ujite trilogy, if you count the videos from last year, in the same place I started the first one. Partisan Square, of course. So I have had an incredible day today. I'm not even bullshitting you like I normally do. It's the truth. That is something that Ujite always gives me, a feeling of rejuvenation and actual enjoyment when it comes to full-time travel you know I think today for the first time in a long time I actually feel happy and grateful that I can actually do this and I've been able to do it for so long now I wanted to say that this video has kind of been like an ode to season one David back in the day years ago where I would just go out go to one place do something very simple and actually come away with some sense of enjoyment and fulfillment so well done Ujitse and before we say goodbye to Ujitsa, I wanted to ask the question, has this Serbia series this year been easy? I think if I put it in the same pot as Mexico and Brazil, if you saw those videos from earlier in the year, absolutely not. I think the theme of this year has been challenging travel. At times in Serbia this year, it has been frustrating, annoying, infuriating, especially when it comes to buses, bus timetables. If I have to sit on one more bus and get off that bus sick as a dog for two days, one more time, I'm gonna scream. Has Ujitse given me that feeling of home that I so desire? As I discussed in Mexico, you know, this isn't about travel anymore. It's about having somewhere which feels like home. Absolutely it has, 100%. I'm quite happy in Ujitse, but, and this is foreshadowing, a precursor to the next video which will be in Belgrade where I'm going to talk about some of the things I feel like I've noticed and recognized having been to Serbia I think five times now and spent multiple months here I wanted to touch on some of the points which I've kind of noticed some of them might seem slightly negative but I know as always the Serbia audience is always open to an intelligent adult healthy debate so next time we will be in Belgrade as I said before heading to London I haven't been there for almost three years um, for a very brief trip for a couple of videos, including one from my original OG hometown. And then we're going to my first new country since 2020. Can you believe it? Before my final video, am I gonna be moving to Poland full time? You've just ruined my end bit. Um, possibly, possibly not. I mean, I know, but you don't. You'll find out in the last episode, all right? So well done, Ujitsay, for being top tier elite epic as always and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.